In this video, I want to show you how to work with five color nozzles. But this is the way it's going to go. I'm going to demonstrate this for you in different stages. I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you lose black in your nozzle test, what happens when you use cyan, what happens when you lose magenta, or what happens when you lose yellow. In this set of videos, it's going to be 1-1 one, one, if you lose 1-1. One, one. Afterwards, I'll make a video if you lose 2-2, two, two, so you have four color nozzles. I want to quickly say that I can only help you if you have four color nozzles or at best five color nozzles. So if you have five color nozzles, I can help you. If you have four color nozzles, I can help you. I'll show you what I mean by nozzles in a minute. When you do nozzle test on your machine and you find these particular sets of things, then that's what it means by five color nozzles. When you do a nozzle test and you notice that some of your colors either are going light or they don't even uh, show at all, that is the question I'm about to address in this video. So I want you to stay back and wait for this video to the end and you'll see uh, how this goes. Now, to start with, I have made two studs. My current printer head is perfectly fine. But we can use these studs to simulate scenarios where you lose one color or not. So, uh, to begin with, I'm going to do a nozzle test of my current machine setup now. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Now, if your machine is perfectly fine, you should see six color nozzles. This is nozzle 1, nozzle 2, nozzle 3, nozzle 4, nozzle 5, and nozzle 6. So, Cyan has two nozzles, which is this and this. Magenta has two nozzles, which is this and this. So yellow has one nozzle, black has one nozzle. So you see here, this is yellow, one nozzle, then this is black, one nozzle. So this is what your printer head should look like if your printer head is fine. But if your printer head is not looking like that, let's say one nozzle is missing, either black or yellow, or one magenta or one cyan, uh, but you have five color nozzles as against six, these videos are for you. So in this video, I'm going to cover scenarios where black is missing. So to get that done, I've provided studs here to simulate scenarios where your printer head is gone bad. So I'm going to block up this nozzle now, which is the black, right? I'm going to block it up. Now you see, there's nothing in black and I've blocked it up with a stud that does not expose at the other end. So if you look at this particular stud now, it's blocked up on the other end, so there's no air that is passing. So now, in this scenario, you have five color nozzles. One, two, three, four, five. So what do you do? So let me quickly do a manual pump right now. And I'll show you what to do if you suddenly wake up and you realize that your machine, the black, is lost completely. So you don't have to panic. This video is meant for you to make you know that there's still a solution even if you run into that kind of a problem. So I'll cut it now and then I'll do clean nozzle. If my guess is right, by the time we do another nozzle test, the black will be almost empty or maybe faint. And as you keep progressing, because there's no color feeding into this place, then you would continuously see that black becomes empty, if not totally blank. So if your black is totally blank, or light so people will say well it's faint this this same video is for you so when you have that scenario where your black is gone this is what you're going to do so I'm going to do nozzle test quickly now and then I'll show you what the solution to that kind of problem is now I'm going to do nozzle test again now the black is fading off gradually, but it has not totally gone. So let's do another manual pump, right? So we'll do the nozzle test. Now, you see that progressively the black is beginning to actually fade out. Now you can see now that subsequent nozzle tests, the black is fading out. Good. So, and this is going to happen all the way till your black is over and you can notice that the black is no longer even printing it's just cyan that is printing now when you run into situations like this where you have five color nozzles this is what you do 
First you ask yourself which color can you sacrifice among all of these five. Now, there's a theory behind this, I'll explain that in a minute. But you need to put one of these dead nozzles, right, in the position, you need to put one of these living nozzles in the position where black now occupies. Because we know that black is currently dead. So we're looking for where we can put black. Well, it doesn't matter. So in this place, we're just going to put black here. Right? Or uh, let me demonstrate something for you. So let's put black in the middle. I'll explain why that is when we get to A tools. So we'll now put black there. Now, don't forget, in the previous scenario, we had cyan, cyan, magenta, magenta, and yellow. So, but in this case now, we're having cyan, black, magenta, magenta, yellow. So we'll now do manual pump. The reason you're doing manual pump is the this particular track before had cyan. It didn't have black. So now we need to flush the printer ahead of any cyan that is in this track so that the black can then fill it up. So you don't have to do a lot. Maybe three, four, five seconds is okay. You cancel it and then you do clean nozzle. When you do a clean nozzle, you do your nozzle test one more time right so when you do your nozzle test one more time you'll notice that black is now going to be in this particular spot don't forget cyan was here before but now black cyan was here and then cyan was here but it's cyan black so in this place now black will most likely be here so So now you see that the magenta, the black has now gone after the cyan. Now, in printing, you need to understand that we only print with four colors. Yes, in large format print, I know you see two colors for magenta, two colors for cyan, one for black, one for yellow. It's just for richness of colors, but most of the time we print with four colors. So we print with cyan, we print with magenta, we print with yellow, and we print with black, which is what you call the CMYK. So as long as we have four colors at the minimum, we can work. The good advantage here is now we have five colors. So the last part of the configuration we now need to do after realigning it physically on the head like this is to go on a software called A Tools to go and tell the printer to use these colors in this array. So in that case now we're going to put cyan, that cyan that we threw away, we'll put it here. But there's something about that cyan that I will show you right now. So let's go on A Tools. So great, we're now on A Tools. And if you click Entry Advanced Setup, the password for this place is 16753. You press Yes. Now you see the color configuration previously matches our black, cyan, cyan, magenta, magenta, yellow. But in this case, we discovered that our black is the one that has a problem. So what we now did was that we carried the black and we brought it to this spot. Because this is the spot that we sacrificed. Now this is the reason why we sacrificed this one. Remember when I was telling you about the theory? You see, these small letter colors of cyan, small letter colors of magenta are the supporting colors that make magenta and cyan have two nozzles. Now, for as long as you have the capital letter, which is the adult color, or you can say the parent color, you are going to be fine. Your printout will still come out just as sharp, right? If you take this one now, and then carry it and cut it off and put it before K and then carry the K and cut it off and put it after C you have recreated the configuration that is on your machine when you press OK now the machine will save it and then now when you send a print it's going to print just as sharply as it would have looked if you had printed on your six color nozzles so I'm going to go to A tools now and then go send a job, create a new file, 24 by 24, click OK. And then we're gonna say file, open, import picture. Now we'll look for a really dark color, like something like this, or maybe something that has a cyan. So we'll go to import picture and then we'll pick, pick this green design and then click OK and enter it. So now that's the file. So we're now going to print this file. Go to print, properties, auto set paper, click OK. Now we'll send the job for print. Now I'm going to show you a video of what that looks like when we are printing with five colors and you'll see that the difference is almost 
difficult to perceive. So the machine will print in one minute. So you can see that the colors are printing just as fine as it would have printed if you had used uh, four color nozzles. I mean, if you had used six colors, I mean, the print quality would not have been different from this. Now, remember when I was telling you that the positioning of this C matters a lot. Let me show you what would have happened if it is this small letter cyan that I put in that place. So I'm going to cut this cyan from here now and I'll paste it right here. So, and then I'll press OK. In this case now, the small cyan has come to this space, right? The small cyan has come here now. And then the capital letter cyan has now gone to this position. You see what will happen if we print with the small cyan in this position as against the capital letter cyan. I wanted to show you that the small letter cyan carries the secondary color and not the base color. Now you'll see what that previous print would look like. Can you see what happened? So let me quickly explain what really, let me quickly explain what really is going on here. So now in the previous case where we had in the previous case where we had the green right you see that's where we now have the orange looking thing right now the reason we had the green is because cyan is the dominant color in this particular print and that is why it is green don't forget it is yellow and cyan that produces green now because we created a scenario where the small letter cyan is here which means the dominant color is now the small letter next to a major color of magenta that's why you have a brownish looking thing so you'd have more yellow in the mix which is a major color than the cyan because the cyan is a slave color so you have to keep that dynamics in mind that when you are setting colors like this especially when you have to remove one particular color make sure the dominant color which is the capital letter color is the color that you leave in your machine especially on your A tools. So it must be the capital letter C and not the small letter C. Now, I hope that has helped you. So what I'll do now is I will restore that color back to capital letter C and now and print this exact same thing. And you'll see that the green will come out. In the place of the small letter C, we will now carry the capital letter C and then put it there. And then this time around, when we save it, and then go back there and print. So we have replaced the capital letter color now. Then you see how that color will come out. The exact same pr printer head configuration. But you see the colors are completely different. So you have to keep this in mind as you work with prints generally. So. That's it. I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to hit the subscribe button, click the like button, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Take care.